איך שהלב נפתח Welcome to Hillel's Global 85th Birthday Celebration. I'm Sarah Chasen. I'm a graduating senior at the George Washington University in Washington, D.C. And I'm John Weiner, the Bitker Fellow at Hillel's Charles and Lynn Schusterman International Center. We will be your hosts for this wonderful celebration. We want to thank you for joining Hillel students, professionals, and supporters across North America, in Israel, in the former Soviet Union, and in Latin America to celebrate this birthday. Hillel was started in 1923 near the campus of the University of Illinois, Urbana-Champaign. Now, 85 years later, Hillel serves students on over 500 campuses around the globe. I'm really proud to be part of an organization that has done so much for Jewish students and the Jewish community. Hillel changes lives. I know it changed mine. How did it change your life, Sarah? When I was a sophomore, I went on an alternative spring break with Hillel to the Mississippi Gulf Coast to join the recovery efforts after Hurricane Katrina. I was so moved by the experience that I took a year off school to continue working there as a volunteer. That year gave me a new direction. I became a public health major so that I could serve needy communities. Now all I have to do is find a job. John, what's your story? Well, Sarah, I went to the University of Pennsylvania in part because of the school's active Hillel. While I was there, I helped create opportunities for Jewish students to do meaningful community service with students of all different faiths through Hillel. This year, as a Bitker Fellow, I've helped other students connect to Jewish life in a variety of meaningful ways. Now, I too am pursuing a career in public health, but I'll always be an active member of the Jewish community. We are such poster children for Hillel. I guess that's why they asked us to do this. <laughs> okay, enough about us. If it weren't for all the volunteer leaders and professionals who support Hillel and make it run smoothly, students like us would not have had these wonderful opportunities. People like Edgar Bronfman, the chairman of our International Board of Governors. You know, I have visited a tremendous amount of Hillel's in my, I guess, 14 years now as the chairman of the Board of Governors. I started with Richard Joel, 1994, and uh, first words I said to him, Richard, you have to understand one thing, what's that? I said, I have three words for you. He said, yeah, I know, plastics, plastics. I said, no, no, Richard, this is not that age. My three words are hope, not fear. And I've lived with those words for a long time. And what it means is that for young people, try to get them to be Jewish because of the Holocaust, or because their mother, grandmother, or great-grandmother is going to spin in the grave, or because of Israel is not going to do the trick. You have to make Judaism a meaningful, and a plus asset for them. Edgar has helped to bring about a renaissance of Jewish life on campuses and to create a new generation of Jewish student leaders. But Edgar is not alone. He leads a group of devoted volunteer leaders and philanthropists who support Hillel with their time and resources. Diane Wall, along with her husband Howard, have supported Hillel in their local community, nationally and globally, for many years. Diane currently chairs our 85th birthday celebration. Here's Diane. Hillel has connected Jewish students to their tradition and to one another. We can only guess how many marriages started at Hillel. Today, Hillel works to inspire every Jewish student to make an enduring commitment to Jewish life. That's why 
I am so personally proud of Hillel's history and also excited about its future. As a fellow at Hillel Schusterman International Center this year, I've had the opportunity to work closely with Hillel President Wayne Firestone. A former student leader himself, Wayne is a strong believer in developing meaningful one-on-one -on -one relationships with students and connecting them with their Jewish community. We want every Jewish soul to, to feel welcome, important, and valued by the Jewish community. We are not going to ask anyone their lineage. We are not going to ask them their, what they had for lunch and where they eat. We're not going to ask them anything um, that could put them off. We're going to welcome them, invite them in, invite them in with their friends, and send the same kind of uh, value of our Abrahamic tradition that we are a welcoming people that really knows how to, um, uh, to be friendly to strangers, to be friendly uh, to our own family. In addition to celebrating Hillel's birthday, today we honor Dr. Lynn B. Harrison, a member of Hillel's International Board of Governors and Board of Directors. Dr. Harrison has been a tireless advocate and supporter of Hillel in her own community across North America and internationally. A few weeks ago, Hillel presented Dr. Harrison with our 85th Birthday Founders Award for promoting the vision of Hillel's pioneers by supporting opportunities to engage and empower students. We had the opportunity to interview Dr. Harrison at the event. So you talked a lot about finding people's stories globally. Can you tell us what your Jewish story is and what has brought you to now be such a huge supporter and contributor to Hillel today? There are an awful lot of stories. There's another story I'd like to tell you instead. I tell this story every so often and it made a very profound effect on me. It was on my very first trip to Buenos Aires. I had gone with the um, adult lay leaders to a Jewish day school. There were a group of United States college students down there doing a Tzedakah trip, just the way you did in New Orleans, but they were doing theirs in Buenos Aires. And the little second and third graders were sitting there, you know, all scrubbed up and, you know, with their music teacher and waiting for the entrance of the American college students. The little Argentinian second and third graders did not speak a word of English, most of them. The American college students coming into the room, most of them probably didn't speak a word of Spanish. But when they entered, the children started to sing, Sholem Aleichem Sholem, and the American students joined in, and all of a sudden these were big brothers and big cousins and, you know, the little kid down the block and that kind of thing, and it was, it was a living moment to me of all Jews are one. After 85 years, Hillel is as young as ever. Every year, a new freshman class arrives on campus with their own unique needs and interests. Hillel Board of Directors Chair B. Mandel explains how Hillel continually evolves to stay relevant. Hillel develops innovative initiatives that are relevant to students' lives today, helping them take ownership of their own Jewish journey. Thanks to you, today's students will be the Jewish leaders of tomorrow, and that's cause to celebrate. Thank you for helping to spread the light of Jewish inspiration. Happy 85th Hillel, and we look forward to celebrating the centenary together in 15 years. Thank you for joining us and to celebrate today. Happy birthday, Hillel.